consistency, I hate that. It's like, oh, like I go to Costco because I know that the hot dog is always going to cost a dollar twenty five, and like I like that about Costco. But like, that's not what I like value in a friend's. You don't find there's a lot of similarities between the Costco hot dog and your friendships. Wouldn't be quite the go to okay. that I would choose. Fine. Let's go home. From local artisans to global brands, Shopify is the heart behind millions of businesses making e-commerce dreams a daily reality. Join the ranks of successful brands like Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklyn. Wild and till nine. I mean, Wild till nine, Lord DIY, and be part of the 10% of all e-commerce in the US powered by Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash WT9, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash WT9 now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in shopify.com slash wt9 welcome back to wild till nine thank you <laughs> welcome uh, thanks for having me <laughs> hi today we have tsj hi um someone brought this up on a tiktok the other day um that you were boyfriend jeremy for so long and boyfriend jeremy right and now that you've been upgraded well i guess really upgraded yourself to fiance jeremy mm. although it feels you know nice it feels good it feels okay it just like there was like a certain ring that and boyfriend Jeremy had that I do kind of miss. I think that I can be and like boyfriend Jeremy or and boyfriend Jeremy to anybody. Yeah. Whereas I'm kind of only fiance Jeremy to you. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And for not that much longer. Your fiance. It's like, yeah, it's a temporary thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. really is a short lived thing. It can be longer. You want to make it in a couple of years? No, 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 no. Are you kidding? I put a deposit down on all of the rentals the other day. <laughs> And we, we, I, I put the deposit, I held the date. I am, um, uh, this last budget meeting, yeah. uh, I, I really started to, to feel the, um, the, the closeness of the wedding. Right. Yeah. Right. The design meetings, I've probably had, uh, three meetings that have maybe totaled like seven hours of yeah. just like picking, um, rental pieces out from three different companies. So that's like the plates, the cutlery, the cups, which includes like the champagne glasses, the wine glasses, Salad the water glasses, needs a plate. the bread and butter plate. I learned what a charger plate is like the big one that goes at the bottom of the stack. How do you want to fold your napkin? What kind of name card do you want? I what like do you I'm want the table numbers to look like? Elementary school like oh, in, a, man. in a class that I genuinely feel like I'm like am I supposed to be here yeah <laughs> I yeah. know that like my name is here mm -hmm. I know that I'm a big part of this wedding right but right right now right here am I supposed to be here you 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 in fact are supposed to be there yeah no I you, am you are I in am. fact you are I in am. fact um so yeah we're we're kind of getting close and I'm freaking out a little bit but Jeremy got to see the vision of the mood board of kind of all the pieces that we put together from all the different rental companies and oh I I've never had any doubt that you were gonna, going to do anything like but a great job like I know that like <gasps> great answer I know that like I guess it's great but like that was my expectation yeah I this part's so fun. This has been my favorite part. I couldn't be less worried about you in this entire capacity. I, I'm built for this part. Yeah. I'm built for this part. Like I, I'm I'm a little nervous when we have to start doing um, seating charts. Mm. That part feels a little stressful. Ah, leave it to me. I have a question. I'll just pull them out of a hat. Something that- Randomizer? Okay, so no, absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> like whoever you came with is the only person you can't sit with. Love that idea. That's an awful approach. I literally couldn't think of a worse approach than that. Table, not for us, but anyone who has dated each other, they have to sit by each other at the table. Hmm. Think about right. it. Right, everyone who's seen each other's genitals all sit at the same table. Yep, and we know. label it as such. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. So they can all like live in that realization together. Right. That or sounds like, fun. Throw like uh, like one mystery person in there. Yeah. But like, you know, no one gets to know who it is. I don't know, I don't know. Um, a couple of wedding related things. Uh, are you like, how do you go about, and I don't know if you're gonna know the answer to this, so I'm just proposing this out loud and okay. we can problem solve this as a community. How do you uninvite someone? So like you send your save the dates kind of early, like kind of like a year, like nine See, that's months. That's why I didn't save my date, like send the dates very early. Now I've got plenty of yeah. uh, of time before I send my save the date and the wedding date to change my mind. Sure, 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 sure. Cause there's like a couple people that I just like am no longer close with or like- Already? What? Really? There's a couple people that I'm like, wait, shit, should we have invited that person? Well- So how do you tell them that they can free up that date? Like, <laughs> how do you approach that? Cause we, right now we're in their, their 
the calendar. Google Calendar. Wait, the save the date might be on the fridge. Yeah, I we're in, we're in the Google Calendar or the the Apple yeah. the Apple Calendar. Yes. Or the Android Calendar. Probably not, but sure. Got it. So, um, someone's Yahoo account has us saved, and we no longer want and that saved. I want to be like, hey, you can actually have free up that date. Here's what we do. We hack into their computer. Okay. We change the date. Okay. To the next year. Uh huh. We have the wedding, and then we go. Oh my oh. god, it's crazy. Oh, okay, but realistically, mm. I think we assume yeah. that- They forgot. No, no, no. We assume that because our friendship's already fading, it will continue to fade. Yeah. And we just never talk to them again. And they would assume? Yeah. That they wouldn't- <gasps> No, that's not the way. I don't, I don't know. There's gotta be an etiquette thing. And I don't know what it is, and I cannot wait to explore this because- Well, is it like a, you don't want them to come because like you just don't feel like that you're that close? Or like you don't want them to come because you don't like them? More like there, there was a few people who like, I felt like I was close with for a long time. It's actually like a guy friend. It's someone, someone ran, we'll talk about this afterwards, but um, like a guy friend who in association with a friend group. And then if we all kind of drifted apart, mm. you know what I mean? No. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think know. I've ever, I, I don't know. And I, in fact, I don't want you to tell me who it is, Yeah, but I also, so far, the descriptors you've given me, yeah, I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Um, okay, so what are, what do you think your options are? Um, one, hope that they forgot. Oh, actually, let me ask you a question. And just see what happens. If you had all the maturity in the world, yeah, and you didn't mind confrontation or awkward or whatever, right? Right. What would you do then? I literally can't even process that question because it's so uncomfortable thinking about that, having to like confront that in a conversation with a real person. You don't have to go, I'm just saying like, <laughs> you don't have to control like, but like if you didn't have, feel any type of way about anything, right? Yeah, yeah. What do you yeah. think is the most amicable? Probably be like, fuck, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like I, what I was about to say that then felt not right in my brain when it was about to come out of my mouth was like, hey, we're not that close anymore. And I feel like we're both on the same page that this seat should go to someone else. Like, that's like what I want to say. Wait, so, wait, hold on. <laughs> so that you think that this person yeah. wouldn't even be that surprised? Maybe. Now that's interesting. Cause to me, it'd be one thing if like, they still find you one of your, the best friends ever. And oh you're yeah, just no, like, no, 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 no. This is easier then. You think? Yeah. Oh man. You look into that camera right now. Yeah. And you just let them know. They can free that day up. I literally just got acid reflux thinking about saying that out loud. <laughs> I just don't think you're gonna have the balls to take it back. So, I'm not. They're so gonna. They're gonna be there. They're, coming. they're for sure gonna be there. Got it. Maybe. Maybe it'll. It'll come down to like what our final guest count is. Because I feel like we were at a really, really good number, and we had extras. Assuming because you hadn't sent a lot of your save the dates. Right. And by that, I literally just mean that he didn't ask people for save the dates because I mailed all of them. Right. So like. Is my family invited now? Literally, no. I don't have all their addresses. Yes, you do. I do not. Yeah, you do. It's filled out in the form. In the, you put it into our not you told website me, address li book? Literally, you told me to give it to you uh -huh. in like an, expel, like an Excel sheet, yeah. like a separate one. Uh -huh. And I did. You did? Oh yeah. Okay. But they're like, you're like, don't even worry about, don't even worry about the not, don't even worry about, I'll do that part, just, just give it to me in, in a sheet. I okay. Go, I can just do this? Yes. Okay. Oh. I have no idea where I where that is, but I get it. Perfect, you. perfect. Okay, well we'll find <sighs> it. We'll find it. I did this. I feel great about this. I'm I so remember glad. Remember this. Uh, I'm so glad that you feel great that you still delivered your save the dates late. No, I no no no. Yes, yes. Oh, they were after the save the dates already went out. Oh, for sure. Uh, for, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. No, I'm just glad that your your um. You know how my expectations for you are oh, high. Oh well, well. Do we? I don't. Do you even still want to send a save the date? Because the invitations are going to go out in a month. Um. Yeah, sure, whatever. That way, you know, if they piss me off, I can take it back. Yeah, that's true. But the point is. That's true. Anyways, so I think let's see where we land on total uh, seat count. That's and not going to change your, you're not going to do it. No, but like we're only renting a hundred chairs. Right. So it's like if oh, we. Oh, that's what we do. That's what I'm saying. No, we send them an invite and it's, there's an asterisk and says flip over. Yeah. Your invite uh -huh. is currently standing room only. I don't know. Hit him with the SRO. That give me, that give me, that give me acid reflux as well too, thinking about that. And be like, there's 101 uh, people that are coming. Uh, 100 people have chairs. Yeah. You will not. 
You can come if you'd like. I feel like that, that's, that's even worse than just uninviting someone. We send them a ticket form, make them purchase. I guess an edible arrangement. Like here, <laughs> our condolences, our deepest Their cat condolences. Didn't die. <laughs> I think you can send an edible arrangement for happy things too and of nice things. Of course you can. I'm just saying that's a great thing to do. If my cat died, I would love an edible arrangement. I like an edible arrangement at any time. Right, that too. Also, I don't have a cat. Yeah, that's right. You don't have a cat. But you're going to meet your sister this week. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeremy's got a new dog sister that he's oh going my God. to meet. <laughs> There's something about like, <laughs> like my mother's like pets where I'm always just like, you need help and I'm not going to give it to you. Sorry, kiddo. Uh, just best of luck. Jeremy's sister, Sophie. Yeah, no, totally. They're always just such interesting names. Anyway, yes, I'm meeting my sister. Sophie. The fuzzy one. The furry for one. This, for this weekend. The fuzzy furry. Probably Sophie. not cuddly one. Well, maybe. The cat? Or the dog? No, you know the cat. You've met your sister of a cat. Is Have I? I think it's a new cat. She got a second cat? No. No. Just one cat. I don't Jeremy, know. you got to get your family tree in order here before you go home. It's like a line segment, but I'm still somehow fucking it up. Seriously? Yes. Yeah, so no, there's a, there's one cat, one dog. The cat has been around for years. Yeah, but like time. Literally years. Yeah, but like because I don't go back very often. Yeah. I feel like it's all kind of relative. What? what? <laughs> I just, I was trying to figure out if the cat was a girl or a boy. I literally can't remember. For sure, it's all girl. They're all girls. All girls. Yeah. Like actually girls, not like cats are, anyway, point is it's a girl. Okay. Got it. Got it. Um, so I ended up being a last minute plus one to a wedding literally yesterday. And it was one of the venues actually that was on our list of places that were, um, like it was, we wanted to stay locally in LA and this one was about two hours, two and a half hours away. So it was kind of like on our second tier of like, okay, if we're down to like do a little bit of a drive, we'd love to check this one out. Right. It was beautiful. It was stunning. November in LA is a little chilly. So it was a little bit cold at night, but it was a stunning wedding and our table, um, was great. I knew for the most part, pretty much everyone. Um, but I think because we had one girl who was there single without a plus one, mm -hmm. she put a 30 year old cousin who like would fit in with like our age and just like vibe, I think at our table. And I got to give live feedback to a stranger's dating profile. And it was so fun. I wish it was recorded. I know. What was the- Also, he's six, seven. And this is the first time I've ever met anyone who lied about their age to make themselves shorter because they were nervous that if someone set like a Wait, height. Hold on. What? He's six seven. Lied about their his age? Sorry, did I say age? I meant height. Okay. I was so confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. So he's he's so he's six seven and right. it's the first person that I've ever met who has lied about their height to make themselves shorter. Six six or six five. He put six six, I think. Yeah. Six yeah. sixes. The, I'm the end of normal tall. Yeah. That's the end of too tall. That's, that's, that's be, the beginning of too tall. No, like six, 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 six is the end of like probably too tall for just like legit, like just functionally. He was sitting next to Cal and I was like, oh, holy shit. It's like, this dude is tall as shit. Was he like tall from the, the waist up or something? I don't sitting? know. He was just like totally tall. Uh, no, I guess, I guess he was like tall sitting, okay. but he was like tall, tall when he was standing. I feel like some people are taller sitting yeah. than they are yeah. when they're standing up yeah, yeah, yeah. and vice versa. He was just a tall motherfucker. So anyways, right. he was asking all the girls at the table, being like, like, no, like for real, like give me, like, I'm like kind of newly single. Like, can you tell me like what, like your perspective is on my dating profile? I can, like, I can just hear it now. I just like, I, I like, I know I'm just too big. So I just, I make myself smaller so that it seems more relatable. Oh no, he was for sure. Like, like a couple of things, like one, he was like, this guy also doesn't have social media. So I'm like not worried about putting this on the internet. But the first thing he said was like, um, um, he's like, yeah, I, I, I go on a date a week. And so I was like, hey, you're like, you're fine. You probably don't need any feedback if you're going on a date a week, but happy to give uh, my- That doesn't stop Lauren from wanting my to pry into someone's personal opinion. life. <laughs> Exactly. Semi-solicited. So his first profile, he's like into jujitsu, I think. Okay. And it was like a great picture of jujitsu, like um, a good little candid, but he had bleach blonde hair in the photo and had like dark brown natural hair in um, real life. Right. He looked like um, Oliveira. The... Dudes for sure would like not think that that's a problem. Yes. And I was like, this is your first photo? I was like, absolutely not. I was like, what do you think? I was like, literally put this shit in face app and just make your hair back to normal color. But also like- It was like, cause it's a great photo. Can you imagine like thinking that someone was like bleach blonde yes. and they're not? And they're not. And so the rest of his photos had regular colored hair. I will say though, sometimes girls transform one photo to the next and you're trying to figure out what the fuck she looks like. Yeah, totally. So I get it. And in fact, I feel like this is the first time it's like, that's a little bit flipped, but yeah. But 
also, if it's your first photo, so many girls, I'm sure there's lots of people that are like, oh, I don't want to date a guy who bleaches his hair, but he doesn't even have bleach blonde hair. I mean, you are giving the first impression yeah. to something that you don't even look like you anymore. You don't even look like anymore. So yeah. I was like, put this shit in face app, just make your hair brown because it's a great photo. Did he do that? What? Could you do that? Can you do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easily? So just easily. Just change the color of your hair? Oh my God, yes. Yes, Technology. the internet is a dangerous place. I mean, I knew you could do like on like real like editing software, but like, wow. Oh, just... oh yeah. Oh, you can, you can change anything. You can All change right. anything. Cool. So that was like our first note. We're like, okay, no, make this photo like look like you currently. Right. Because it's a great photo. And he's like not a social media guy. So he was like, I don't really have that many photos. And I was like, put that shit in FaceApp. I was like, whatever. Did he have FaceApp? No. Okay. He would have had to download it. I was like. He doesn't have Instagram. Okay. He doesn't have FaceApp. Got it. <laughs> and then uh, there was another photo. <laughs> can you imagine? No social media. Has FaceApp, face exactly. Has Facetune, yeah. has FaceApp, has- uh, Wait, FaceApp and Facetune are different things? Are two different ones. FaceApp has more um, like makeup stuff. Like you could give yourself oh. a whole makeup Oh, I've never makeover. had FaceApp then. I just figured FaceApp and Facetune, the same thing. No, 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 no. Facetune, I feel like people use more for like, like changing the shape of things where right. FaceApp, it, I, I've seen is like more like makeup oriented. Right. And hair oriented. I would have loved it even more knowing that. If he hasn't been like, oh, face Abby, I got you. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And then there was a photo a little bit further down. The next, the next kind, of, the next, the next couple were like solid, like you know, couple with friends, looking tall, also looking taller than your friends. Fish? No fish photos, mm, thank bummer. God. He also doesn't have a dog, so like no, no dog photos. Got it. Um, but then he had one where he had a giant mouth guard in, but at full, at first glance, it looks like they're just like giant teeth. Sure. And I was like, maybe, maybe not this one. Yeah. Maybe not this like, one. In a world where everyone gave you all of their attention. Yeah. Would totally be fine. Right. But at like first glance, if, if like that's something that could throw someone off, not even worth the risk, in right. my opinion. Right. Not worth the risk. And then the other note that as a table we collectively agreed on is um, there was another like jujitsu, karate, UFC photo, or whatever, where his hair was super, super sweaty and okay. made it look like. Like he had much less hair than he actually does in real life. Oh. And I was like, girls really look at hair. If they're looking to potentially make offspring with someone with, you know, good hair genes and a full head of hair. It was like, this picture is doing you dirty. Arguably, I think we do that regardless if we're trying to make babies or not. Yeah, no, yeah. totally, totally. You're like, like that's, that's like, you're, you're, you're taking points from yourself because right. you have good hair. Right. And so anyways, we got to give live feedback and it was quite enjoyable. Did you see who he was matching with? No, no, this is kind of at the end of the night, mm. but I do love swiping for people. That, I, also, I literally just met this man, so I didn't want to be like, I didn't, you know. I've seen I, you I don't swipe, even, and I know you've seen me swipe. Yeah. I think you swipe on, uh, like, the, you value things that uh, guys don't and vice versa. I like the, oh, oh, yeah. when I'm swiping for, like, if I'm swiping on girls for a guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, totally. I mean, we just did a whole episode on girl pretty versus boy pretty. Like, the type of girls that I feel like you're, you think are, are cute on dating yeah, apps. Yeah. I'm always like. What? Yeah, what did you huh? what did you see in that yeah. photo? Yeah. They great they have a great nose. What? Oh, here we fucking go with the nose. Here you we love go. Noses. And you love thinking that I love noses. So I had a dream the other night. I was and like, you should add some words to that. <laughs> <laughs> I had it's a, not that monumental. I uh oh yeah, this dream is um lower your expectations. Lower okay. your expectations. Um I had a dream and there really is not that much context to it. Um, but Jeremy, so you know a uh, fusilli noodle. It's yeah. the spirally one. I do. It's like the shape of a penne, but spirally. Corkscrew. Like a corkscrew, but like a little thicker. Right. A little thicker, like mm -hmm. not so skinny or anything. Mm -hmm. I had a dream that Jeremy's entire penis was a fusilli noodle. And Jeremy was so unfazed by it in the dream that in the dream I was like, okay, so he's not freaking out. Like, should I not be freaking out? I was like, but I'm freaking out. It was like, no one is having any reaction to this. How did we get here? Like, were, were, have there been other dreams where my penis is- Was a noodle? Yeah, well, really anything edible. Uh, a macaroni? No, 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 no. Okay. A lasagna? What did, and what were we do? <laughs> you weren't with me at all yesterday. <laughs> this was two days ago. This was two nights ago. I forgot to tell you because I was gone all day yesterday. Which is, by the way, when Lauren has a dream, she can wait 0.3 seconds. I know, I know. I, which, by the way- is is endearing. I think we didn't wake up at the same time. And so I think when I got woke it. up and I was like, well, that was a fucking weird dream. Oh, cause I would have. You got up early, I think, cause we had the tech guys come over. No, I don't know. Anyway, got it, understood. So uh, 
how did you, and so you didn't address it? We just, that's, you just. I, 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 when I tell you that's, that's only, the only part that I remember of the dream and it was so jarring. Because I didn't comment scarring. on it. You just were like, I guess we're doing we're just, this we're now. We're just going with it. We're just okay. going with it. Yeah. We're so just going with I it. I have a corks. Screw. No, but like corkscrew is not like that, that makes it seem too skinny. And also, like there is actually a version, like duck penis. Yeah, it's not duck penis. Got like, it. like take what you know about duck it penis. Was John and it's and Vinny's not that spicy fusilli. It was it was Vasili John pasta. and Vinny's spicy fusilli pasta. Right, but in penis, enlarged, enlarged as a penis. How well? How enlarged are we talking about? Ooh, so big. Okay, good. All so right. big. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was like, my dream. Whenever I see um, those posts on Instagram and they're like, oh yeah, like we're working on tech to be able to relive your dreams. I'm always like, you know what? Let's just leave all of that yeah. right in the brain. It's like, that, that is okay. And then it's like, yo, now okay. we've got uh, Obama doing the Carter three in the voice of Ice Spice. Lil Dicky uh, with Ice. Yeah, exactly. Did oh. you see that? Yeah, the AI that was yo. Ice Spice and Obama. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. Like, will... Will like leaked nudes no longer be a thing? I don't know. Cause like everything, if if I had my, all of my shit leaked tomorrow, I'd be like deep fakes. Yeah, that's crazy. Deep fakes. Deep also, fakes. honestly, really good how they got the the really weird Instagram filter of two thousand three on this one. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's, wild. that's nuts. That's crazy. They were able to like, yeah, <laughs> man. I had no idea anyone knew what I looked like when I was twenty years old. That's <laughs> nuts. And uh, working backwards is good. Yeah. Is really fucking good. good. Yeah. Yeah. So I have no need to relive the Fusilli penis stream again okay. or to like to project that anywhere in the real world. I actually have to make some text for tonight to cancel some <laughs> things. Okay. Good to know. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like that's, you know, there's probably other tech that we could be working on that is better than bringing my Fusilli. I don't know if I've ever had a dream about anyone's vagina ever. Really? Yeah. Huh? Like, not that I haven't had sex in a dream. Yeah. I have with you, of course. I don't think I like, I was all that clued in on what was going on parts wise. So you could have had some pasta. Okay. Down there. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I like, I feel like I don't really have the things that I'm clued in on my dreams. Yeah. Don't seem very like, like detail folk. It's like big picture, big, like I'm either happy or sad or scared or, or whatever. Right, right, right. You've got like one thing at a time happening. It's more like feelings, less visual. Oh, I feel like that's aligned though with like how you um, can't visualize something that you haven't seen before. Right. Right? Like my mind can, you could, you could tell me anything and I could build it in my brain. A I, world. You know, like the, the, when you open up Microsoft Paint, yes. it's just like a blank yes. canvas. Yep. Yep. That. Right. And so it's like, you've got a smiley face or a sad face happening. Right. And like when the, you have the motor functions of, that I do <laughs> and it, like whether you want to make a circle or a square, it's going to kind of look like the same thing regardless. Yeah. It's, it kind of like, just like, I just go for it. See what happens. I love that for you. Why I, do I have such bad fine motor control? Yeah. I don't know. We've talked about this before, but yeah. Pictionary, not Jeremy's best skill. No. Not Jeremy's best skill. No. Scategories, you're great at. Yes. Scategories. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's fine. It, I don't, I don't need to hear you struggle with what you I'm and Your mother should play Catan this week, please. So that we can prep this we'll woman again. We'll never make it out. Oh my God. We'll never yeah, what make do it mean, out. What do you mean, uh, what, what, what's gonna go wrong? Oh, ju well, you know. We teach Jeremy's mother how to play Catan. Every time. Every single, every single time that we see her. Every, every time. And it's, cr it's just, I sent it her is Catan. just crazy how little she retains from every time. Yet also. I think we have to get her on online Catan. I'm not like, the last thing I need to do is be adminning her Catan account from the other side of the country. I just think that it would save us tutorial after tutorial every time we see her, three I, times a year. I think that's part of the charm, you know? <laughs> well, I also, I have no patience for it, so I'll just start playing. And yeah. everyone else is like, no, we should, well, help we her. should, help, we should like, go Jeremy, over it. Help your mother. And I'm like, we, she'll catch up, Help I your mother, help her. Help your new mother-in-law. Help her, I do yeah. help her. You do. I'm so nice. I know, you are so nice. I'm so nice. I even texted her a list of the, the stuff that you eat. That's- Because you wouldn't tell your mother what you eat. I just, when someone's like, what, what should I get you? Whatever. I, I, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat what's there. And then if I don't like it, I'm just not gonna eat. So that's not a solution that is acceptable for a, a mother. I know. And like, I would probably feel differently if it was somebody else, but it's my mom. So like, it'll be fine. I mean, I know it's gonna be fine. Yeah. I know it's just like, like me, it's like a Are you guys doing um, Thanksgiving? Like, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? I think we're going to something. What are you, what are you guys doing? Uh, these are reasonable questions. They are, I don't know. Okay. I don't go home to be okay. in charge. Yeah, no, totally. 
Yeah. No, no, no. Passenger Princess. Yes, that's passenger me. Passenger Princess. For three, four days. Yes, yes. Tuesday through Friday. I'll be home with the pups. Yeah. And I think uh, Remy is going to adopt me for Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. Are you making them some turkey? Uh, absolutely the fuck not. Some stuffing? No. I am going to do- potatoes? I'm going to do broccolini. Okay. And I'm going to do crack bars. Is this Diggy's first Thanksgiving with us? What, where, what did we do last no, year for Thanksgiving? No, no, no. Were we here last year for Thanksgiving? No idea. No idea. Why can I not remember this? Not at all. What what did we do last year? Couldn't tell you. Did we go to someone's house? Oh my God, I remember nothing. Nothing, it's a void. Okay, so we were here for Christmas because mm -hmm. we did Christmas here for the first time with family. Yep. What the fuck did we do last year? Time moves so fast. Like the fact that we will have been engaged a year next month is crazy. That felt like six seconds ago. That, that did move quickly. That felt like literally six Despite seconds ago. Despite it being a long year, that does feel like it was yesterday. Yeah, like the year went by like that. It was so fast. God, December was such a stressful month last year. Yeah, yeah. I was moving everything. I was having a great time. I, yeah. I was having a grand old time. Yeah. Grand old time. Wow. Um, so while this episode is airing, we will be on a brand trip, our first brand trip in so long. It's been years. Literally, I think the very first brand trip we went on is like kind of at the very beginning of our relationship. We went to Hawaii with Tarte. That's right. In like 2019. And since yeah. then, I don't know if I've been on a brand trip since, even without you. I think that literally might've been the last one. Obviously we like, obviously the pandemic was like a solid two years, but I don't think I've been on a brand trip since then. Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, no. Yeah. Am I just- uh, Passenger princess? Well, am I just like bad luck for your brand trips? No, I don't think so. I think we had a little, um, you know, a medical situation okay. of this year, of, of the last couple of years. Fine. Yeah. Was it what, COVID? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. we had a medical situation? No, 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 was no. What was, what was that again? No, no. Okay, okay. got it. Um, so we are going to Santa Barbara area, Santa Inez. Yeah. Um, for a couple of days with the knot. And do we know like everyone is going? No, no, no. So I was looking at past trips and it's like between 10 to 12 different couples. Oh, it's pretty so, small. Oh, 10, 12 couples. Yeah, so it's Got like, it. yeah, 20 to 24 people Got on top it. of like their team who we love and have like worked with from like past knot stuff. Um, but Cal and Remy are going yeah. and uh, Sierra and her fiance are going. And What's his name? Sam. Got it. Sam and um, other just like engaged couples. But we don't know the other ones. We don't know the other ones yet. I also like texted one of our not girls and I was like, hey, who's going? And she just kind of like scooted over the question. So I don't know if there's maybe still like TBDs in the air or whatever, Rude. but I got the most insane. I, I haven't been on a brand trip before where they give you like suggested attire. I want to tell you that I live in yoga pants and oversized hoodies and have like a couple nice outfits that I just wear on repeat. I'll always remember the time you sat me down and said, I'd like you to start dressing less, less nice. nice. I was like, if you wear jeans to our like comfy movie nights, I can't function. Which like I didn't this. realize at the time was you targeting me to wear sweatpants. Yeah, there was a for sure a sweatpants ween yeah. um, campaign that went yeah. well campaign. and was a success. Targeted. It was, it was a targeted sweatpants ween. So running ads for like, Gray other, sweatpants? for brands <laughs> on my page. Yeah. I like to, I, I like to still, target my own IP address with this ad, please. Can you actually run this on um, all of the devices across our household? That would be great. Thank you so much. The two things that I get tagged in the most, three things probably are capybaras, uh, squishmallows, and gray sweatpants ween. When I tell you that I legitimately, and I don't know if there's anybody else out in the world that could possibly relate to this, but I, uh, through some pretty basic firewalls eliminated any paid ad uh -huh. from from hitting our network. So like when you're on the internet, ads don't come, either, and they oh. don't come up, or if they like, if they do come up, you can't <laughs> click on them because it's an ad, right? I literally like, I, I got it so that like paywalls and ads and all the things that like target us and sell uh -huh. our data, I, I blocked all of it. And Lauren goes, what the fuck is with, I can't click these. I, I, wanna, I wanna shop this. I'm trying to, and like literally got mad <laughs> that there were no longer. I was like, give me the ads. Online ads to sell her stupid shit she doesn't need. <laughs> I, there was a blanket from Urban Outfitters that um, got advertised to me. It ended up being sold out and I was devastated. It came back in stock this morning. Really? And I almost gave Jeremy a conniption because I gasped so loud. I was like, oh, it's back. I need it. Was that this morning? That was this morning, yeah. Wow. I'm okay. so excited. Are you very awake this morning. Yeah. Anyway, so if anybody else out there has eliminated ads from their phone only for their significant other to say, I'd like my ads back, Give me please. my ads back. 
Truly, I don't know if that's gonna be the least or most relatable thing. Give me my ads back. Sometimes there's really good stuff. No, totally, I get it. You know what I'll actually do, like kind of proactively, if I'm looking for something specific, like just say I'm looking to buy a new dog bed specifically for the car, mm -hmm. I'll like search around on Amazon a little bit and put it into like to TikTok and Google. So do my you search TikTok for products you wanna buy? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. What do you mean? Am I old or are yes. you? You're so you, okay, you would go to a social media platform that's not Reddit. I would never go to Reddit. Well, if you want to find out about something, you go to Reddit. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know if I can trust someone on Reddit where it's like, if someone has a profile. <sighs> I think you can trust anybody on Reddit because think about it, not anybody. I think you can trust Reddit forums. I would say, I've seen this stuff about me on Reddit. I don't think you should be trusting Reddit. Fine, I think, <laughs> I think there's a bit about like, uh, when people are talking with a social profile that like, they don't- like, It's anonymous? Not necessarily anonymous, because like you can build up your own like reputations yeah, for there, but yeah. like the whole idea of like people going there to talk about a thing mm -hmm. specifically versus mm -hmm. like going to see what's out there and then just like commenting on whatever, like you gotta like really work yeah, to get like, there. Yeah, but like the dog moms who are looking for the best quality like car dog bed, they're right. on TikTok, they're not on Reddit. Like if you're looking for tech answers to this right. kind of stuff I and am. like reviews, like that's where the fucking nerd bros are. And like, I know that there's other communities obviously on Reddit for like almost every niche, but like the majority of the consumers for the stuff that I'm buying are not on Reddit. Like so the I, conversation's not like robust. If I wanted to find somebody who could give me advice mm -hmm. on uh, cloud services, who also gives that advice through the <sighs> lens of someone with a foot fetish and uh, is and a, also and a gaming an, an animator and on the side. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like I could find six forums right yeah, now to talk about that yeah, with, yeah. with no, hundreds no. of people each. Reddit is for you, Reddit okay. is for well, you. Hold, hold on, hold on. That, when I say for me, that right, was- the foot fetish, the Dungeons yeah, 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 yeah. and Dragons, no, the-, no. the <laughs> no. <laughs> The cloud no. service. Let's move on. <laughs> Quiz time. What's easier than picking a window seat on a plane or ditching a wild party for a Netflix marathon? Ding, ding, ding. Yes, you guessed it. It's selling with Shopify. Shopify isn't just a platform. Think of it as your business's best friend, the kind that sticks with you from your what am I doing phase to the wow, I actually did it moment. From launching your online store to opening your first real world shop and then doing a victory dance at your millionth sale. Shopify's riding shotgun all the way. Selling your knitted cat sweaters or those edgy graphic tees, Shopify's got your back. It's like the Swiss army knife of e-commerce, an all-in-one platform and cash register that makes juggling your business as easy as binge watching your favorite series. Shopify's checkout is like a magnet for customers. We're talking a whopping 36% better conversion rate than other platforms. That's not just good. It's like Shopify waved a magic wand level good. Shopify's dashboard lets you manage orders, shipping and payments from wherever you are. It's like having a business command center in your pocket. We love Shopify here at Wild Till 9. And you know what, by the way, I, I'm obsessed with Shopify just as a, a technology product in general. It's TSJ endorsed. The amount of times I've gone to Shopify to take a screenshot of how they show data mm -hmm. and gone to any number of one of the companies I've worked for and said, can we just do it more like this? And they all go, we don't know how they did it like that, but we wish that we could. And I'm not kidding, there's a real story that's happened. I don't even know how many times. Regardless, knowing everything will go off without a hitch allows us to sit back, relax, and know that Shopify has our back. Shopify is the heartbeat of millions of businesses. It's turning e-commerce dreams into, I'm actually doing this. Join the cool club with brands like Allbirds, Brooklinen, and be part of the Shopify empire, powering a massive 10% of US e-commerce. With Shopify's award-winning support, you're not just opening an online store. You're joining a fan club that's cheering for you at every milestone. So why wait to turn your weekend hobby into your weekday hustle? Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash WT9, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash WT9 now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash WT9. So we, um, there was a a study essentially that was created years ago and it started getting more momentum on social media across like New York Times and I think Jubilee also did some content around it where it's this like set of questions that are um, like science-based questions to help form a bond well, to on. fall in Did, love. Can we pull out exactly like what, what, yeah. what was it based on? I can tell you. Yeah. Well, no, it's the questions. Oh, okay. But like- Based on big brain. Oh, no, let's do it. Okay. All right. You want odds or evens? Um, ooh, I'll take evens. I'll take odds. Okay, go ahead. 
So you answer the odds? Yeah. Okay. All right, read it to me. Okay, given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? I fucking hate this question. This question comes up all the time. Obama. Really? Yeah. What about Obama as Ice Spice? Nope. Yeah. Just Obama. I just think that that could be fun. I think Obama. My yeah. answer would be Obama. As I think Ice Obama Spice. would be such a great uh, um, uh, conversationalist. Yeah. De- yeah. Oh, definitely. I'm sure he's so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Like even if there was things that like people who were also at the dinner party disagree with him mm-hmm, on, mm-hmm. I'd love to hear him see it. I'd love to see him navigate it in person. Yeah. Because I really enjoyed the way he dealt with people. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel in love and the closeness is is, is thriving. It's thriving. You want to go facility out? F- don't 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 make facility weird now. Oh, it's about one of my favorite. Noodles. I'm glad that it's about the the, the pasta, not my penis it's being one a of my noodle. Favorite noodle. <laughs> like, it was too scale though. Like the facility went too scale of the penis. Got it. You know what I mean? It would have been worse what if is it this was action. Like. I guess the enlarging of a fusilli noodle. Got it. Like imagine if I had had a dream and your dick became the size of an actual fusilli, that would be way worse. Or, got it. Or like I had Tic Tac penis. Yes. Got it. Exactly. Okay, cool. Question two, or question one for you. <laughs> would, <laughs> would you like to be famous in what way? I mean, I've always said that the limit of fame that I'd ever want to achieve is to never be famous enough to get invited onto Hot Ones. Really? Yeah. Wouldn't you want to do that? Go on Hot Ones? Yeah. I can't even eat mild pad thai. No, I don't want to get invited onto Hot Ones. I would, Pete, have you ever watched Pete Davidson's episode where he's snotting and no. sobbing? No. And like some people just blow through it. Like most people, I watched, enough, I watched Amelia. Everyone seems to be able to eat like hot shit yeah. beyond what I could ever do. And then, but then you see people who are like actually not great with heat. Yeah, and it's funnier. Yeah, I don't want to be the laughing stock of the the people that who are unable to eat spicy things. Okay. Like, so like that's my limit of famous. I just never want to be famous enough to get invited onto hot ones. Okay. So that that's the opposite of this question. Sure, 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 sure. Um, <laughs> would you like to be famous? I think that there is... I was listening to, this is so random, but I was listening to the Kid Leroy on a okay. podcast the other day. And is he, it the Kid Leroy or is it Kid Leroy? I thought- Is I it the Post Malone? I think it might be the Kid Leroy, isn't it? Or is it Kid Leroy? Maybe it is. I would, the, no, it, just, it was weird. It was like the other. Meg the Stallion has, she has a the in there. It is the Kid Leroy. The it kid. is the Kid Leroy. I was going to say, I thought it was the Kid Leroy. Just got it. But instead so of we refer to him as the- Kid Leroy? I just did, apparently. Okay, all right. Now, I'm anyway, on he was listening to, or he was listening, I was listening to him on a podcast talking about how, um, like, he, music is, is obviously his passion and, like, getting famous in the fame that kind of follows you around all of that and, like, being um, in the spotlight is a byproduct of making music for a lot of people. Right. And so I, I like, wonder if when you're looking at it, like, fame from the perspective of you're doing, uh, like a passion rather than someone like Emma Chamberlain who's gotten so famous just for like being themselves. Like I wonder if there's an element that's a little bit harder for just being like a lifestyle girly that becomes like an it girl like Emma. Because I think that like- Harder for who? For for Emma. For whom? Uh, so, wait, so for people that get famous by being themselves, it's harder? Like, I wonder if it's harder to deal with the byproducts of fame that are a little bit harder, like the privacy portion and, oh. um, you know, expecting more of that person yeah. versus someone like a musician who has a craft that they got famous by creating for other people. Because then you have something, you have a product that you're like giving them. Whereas someone like Emma, I feel like I've seen her burn out so many times because the product that she's giving so many people is herself. herself. Yeah. And I think that that can be hard. And obviously I, I think that truly people who are in the spotlight have, it's difficult no matter how you look at it. And obviously in the, a lot of ways they have incredible amounts of privilege in certain elements. But I think that like the hard parts that people struggle with in terms of like privacy and being in the spotlight, I think that it would be really hard to not have like an overall product. I think it would be di- most difficult to do anything with fame if you weren't able to separate the fame from yourself in some yeah, capacity. Yeah, 100%, yeah. 100%. Okay, before making <laughs> a phone call, do you ever rehearse what you're going to say and why? <laughs> you can you can literally knock off the first part of this, which is before making a phone call. I don't think about what I'm going to say ever. <laughs> like when I tell you that the amount of things that I've gone into that 
are like, it's an asinine amount of speaking that uh-huh. I'm about to do. Uh-huh. And it's just me speaking. Yeah. And if I don't like have conferences some, with, with hundreds of people in the audience, I, I tell people this all the time. I've ne- since not graduating college, yeah. I've never made a slideshow. I've never made a deck. I've never made a base, like a that visual. That is so wild. Like I just start talking. What is it like to live that life? Because also think about if you made a 37 second, like 37, like slide, like document, it's beautiful. I yeah. mean, pixel perfect. Yeah. And like, I mean, it, mine would be slide gorgeous. Num- slide number two, someone's mm-hmm. like, never mind. Like, what about the this? That's really timely. Yeah. And you have to just now either choose to ignore that 37 page slide deck mm-hmm. or go through it painstakingly while everyone just continues to lose interest. Well, I think for me, like why I rehearse and prep things is that like, I'm okay at going off script when that kind of situation happens, but I want to have my fallback. The the fallback is having the domain knowledge to be able to talk about it for forever. No, my fallback is that if no one asks a question, I have a planned presentation that I'm ready to give that is solid. Right. Cause then, and and even then I still would have nervous poops and IBS beforehand. Yeah, oh, for sure. I mean, the the toilet's gonna be flushing regardless. Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, And not out of hydration. I have practiced every phone call that I've ever, even, so our fucking refrigerator is broken again. Our fucking Thermidor. Shout out Thermidor. Shout (laughs) out fucking Thermidor for being If you've ever been in the market for a $10,000 fridge, don't. Oh my God. And we probably, we, we had the podcast when our fridge broke last time because it was literally not that long ago. And so we don't have a fridge again. I think you should just go out and go buy the cheapest thing that'll fit into your fridge spot and call it a day. If it wasn't, if it wasn't like $10,000 to buy a new fridge, I would 100% fucking do this because, oh. Well, it's, it's not, it's just like, it's built into our kitchen. It's built into our kitchen, that's yeah. the hard part. So I feel like we're stuck with it. Yeah. And so- We're thermal or people. It's fucking broken again and I'm so pissed. And I've been having an awful time with customer service. Again, two years, not even two years later with a brand new fridge and I cannot believe it. But at least the guy that came out was nice. The guy that came out was really, really nice. I think that all big companies with customer service, all of you, mm. get it get it together. Get it to fucking get it. And I'm not oh mad God. at customer service. I'm mad at the companies that give their team nothing to work with. Nothing to work with. The amount of times I get on a yeah. call with somebody who's actually quite competent, they're like, you're asking a reasonable question. Totally. You're well prepared. Yeah. I have nothing for you. No, and and like I have worked in the service industry. And so like, I am highly empathetic towards customer service representatives. I really am. Like I have been berated by the public. I think I think it should be a requirement, honestly, for everyone to work in the service industry. Yeah. I truly believe that. I think that it makes people a better person on being on the receiving end of customer service. I think you should, uh, it, well, I don't think you should have to do it. But I think if you want to interact with businesses that have customer service, then you do have to do then it. Then you do have to do it, right. Yeah. You need to know what it's like to be on the other side. Right. I think it would make everyone a lot fucking nicer. Right. Um. So I, like, it was just, it was just a shit show. And I was just like, can you give me any kind of like guarantee or confirmation that like this part will come in so that I can have a refrigerator over Christmas at the end of the month in you know, 40 days. And she's like, I can't. And like, that's all, that's all she's, that's all she's got. That's, that's it. I'm, and like, I mean, I know that so many people would pop the fuck off and be so mad, but like there is literally nothing that she can do and there's nothing I can do. And it's just like, I, we're having- I feel the same way with the phone company. I feel the same with the alarm company. I feel the same <sighs> way with the, it's just a bunch of companies that, that continue to let us down, babe. Fuck Thermidor <laughs> is all I have to say. Okay, anyways, I think I actually answered that question and I wasn't, so I don't know how your question turned into the Thermidor. My point is I, I don't care what, it is, uh, I'm not gonna rehearse what I'm going to say. And I, every time I will. I'll just know what- <laughs> Oh, oh, where I was going with this is that I literally typed out exactly what I wanted to say to the Thermidor person. I love that for you though. Yeah. Because you don't like confrontation. No. And if- Even when I'm, I've been wrong. Right, but that's the thing. If, if the customer <laughs> service person was like, was hounding you. Yeah. You still, it, you would, My palms would be down. sweaty. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Knees weak, arms are heavy. I um, I genuinely think that uh, I, to me, in my brain, mm-hmm. I just want, I know what I want to get to. Yeah. I don't know how to get there, but I'll figure it out. And I feel like we talked about this in couples therapy, like how sometimes along the way, we got we to gotta make adjustments. We, we make little, like little yeah. checkpoints. Yes, All right. yes. What would constitute a perfect day for you? Ooh. And would it end in pasta? Would it end in pasta? Shvoo, both kinds. Good to know. Both kinds. Good to know. Um, I think a perfect day uh-huh. would constitute like maybe some kind of cute little outing, mm-hmm. probably some kind of um, like light workout, even just like a walk with the pups with you. It would constitute of good food, 
perfect weather, great temperature. Um, probably a pasta, maybe a cheesecake, maybe okay. like one glass of champagne. Wow, you're getting crazy. And then a fusilli, a okay. single fusilli noodle. A s- got it. <laughs> got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm in love. When did you last sing to yourself and to someone else is part, part B of this question. Sing to myself uh-huh. yesterday while I was uh, somehow managed to rack up 20 miles of walking inside the house. Literally, Jeremy had 25,000 steps on his on his aura ring. And like, uh, oh, the aura ring is so incredibly accurate with steps. Like, I feel like when I used to wear an Apple watch, it was like a little bit off, it like overestimated. Yeah. Um, the aura ring is scary accurate. And Burn I, some calories. You really did 25,000 steps. Like it was, that's like Disneyland. Without leaving the house. That is literally Disneyland. Without leaving the house is the, is the impressive part. Yeah, truly. Um, uh, so yesterday, mm-hmm. when did I sing to someone else? Yeah. It's been a while. Uh, when was the last time? Well, I sing to you all the time. I don't know if that counts. When last time, when was the last time you actually performed, performed? Uh, 2017. Okay, wow. Long time ago. Forever ago, yeah. Yeah, For forever real. ago. Is there another one? Yeah. If you're able to live to the age of 90 and retain either the mind or body of a 30 year old <laughs> for the last six years of life, which would you want? Uh, I wish I could I could see, they would give me a visual of what I would look like at 90. I assume it's gonna look like you, but raisined. Raisined. Yeah, but like, but like if, do I look okay until 70? Lauren, I, gotta, I, think, you're, I think you should assume. And then it drops off? That the, the one that doesn't stay the same <laughs> doesn't look great. Okay, wait, okay. Do I want to either have the mind or the body? body of a 30 year old. I think honestly the body, because like when I'm 90, like I assume that I'm gonna learn so much more over like, okay, you know what, I'll, like, I'm sure between, you know, 70 and 90, I'm sure there'll be a decline obviously in what my brain is like, but like what I'm gonna learn between We're good now until, 70, though. until maybe 75, maybe 80. Uh-huh. I feel like life life expectancy is getting even longer. Right. Like I feel like my brain has so many more folds to go. Okay. Uh, is my frontal cortex even developed yet? Like I don't know. I feel like I've I've still got I've still got more more things to learn. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I I'm gonna learn more things and have the body of a thirty year old. I, I love you having a body of a thirty year old yeah. until you're ninety. That's great. That's the right choice. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have a secret hunch about how you will die? That's a fucked up question. Uh, statistics would say probably cancer or heart disease. Oh my god, that's awful. I think I hate this question. Also, I can't even imagine having this conversation with like a new person that I, you've just met. I know what it is. Regardless, it'll be heartache. Yeah, be, that's so nice. Question eight. That's so nice. <laughs> Name three things you and your partner have in common. Oh, um, we both eat like children and we feel very strongly, this is in the same one. We eat like, not like children, but we like what we like and we are not afraid to like stick to that. Right. That's a great, that's that's the most positive outlook on that. We're not afraid to stick to what we like. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, well, cause if you were a super adventurous eater and right. you like love trying new restaurants that had super adventurous food. It wouldn't be food, good for us. We wouldn't, it wouldn't be compatible. No. Excited, I would be like, so do they have the nuggies? Right, so do you think, could I order just like a an A1 sauce with this? Okay, well that's that's offensive. Right. Like that's, no. A1's not for me. Anyway. And like, I would say we both have medium sized palates, okay. but we enjoy generous. the basics. I think about some, like what a lot of like other people eat and- Who eats less food than us? We live in LA though. Okay, fine. We live in LA, people are like, is there duck fat confit on this? And I'm like, I'm sorry, fucking what, did you, it, what language did you just say that? Is that's vegan, right? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Right. Um, okay, so we both have- So we both eat three things. An equally expensive and palate. Yep. <laughs> um, I think that we both also share the same balance of um, like adventure and activity versus carcass time. Okay. Which I think also can lead to incompatibility if like people want to do things. Like, remember when Ayla almost killed Kian because Ayla wants to do things and Kian doesn't want to, and she was like, "No, bro." What did she say? Um, I don't remember. I can't remember when but she was when she was like, "No, we're not going to agree with him on that." Um, he likes video games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, congratulations to Ayla, Ayla and Kian who had the had most a adorable baby ever. Had the baby. Um, but I think that we are very aligned in terms of like our time for relaxation and also our time for like doing things and right. have a good balance of both. 
that make us happy. Doing stuff. And doing stuff. I think we also both thrive in routine. And like, I know that these are all like very like fundamental core things, but I think that like having um, compatibility and a lot of like these things that really impact you on the daily are like the freaking bread and butter and the pillars of so many relationships. If I think uh, one of us being all over the place would make the other person all over the place. And like not in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I feel like when I'm, if, if when you're spinning out of control, like, like it definitely doesn't ground me. No. Yeah, and no. vice versa. So say thanks. <laughs> For what in your life do you feel most grateful? Oh, babe, that's so nice. You said me. That's so nice. Um, he's about <laughs> about thirty pounds. He's got the littlest legs. Moose. The worst breath. Uh, he's related to Moose. Yes. <laughs> Um, what if I'm most grateful? Uh, my, yeah, family. My family. You, our family. Tell us more nice things. That's it. No, question 10. <laughs> Boom. If you could change anything about Boom. the way you were raised, what would it be? Where do you want to begin? Um, <laughs> wait, what would it be? What would it be? Yeah, so if you could change anything about the way you were raised. Probably would have done less math books in the summer because I'm, I'm really not that great at math. So it's like, it's not like it really put me ahead or anything. But think about maybe you would have been more behind. That's a scary thought. That's a scary thought. I, I'm nervous about yeah, that idea. a little bit. Um, but other than that, no, I had a, my, I mean, Greg and Gail freaking killed it. The thought of like us having to figure out like a high schooler's math at some point. Oh, absolutely uh, like not. I think I can get through like seventh or eighth grade. Maybe. 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 Only out of ego and not because to, 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 yeah. to keep face. Right, right. Because right, then right. once you start giving up, like they just like, yeah, I knew I was smarter than them. Yeah, exactly. And right. they're probably right. But right. like, we can't let them know that. Right. It's exactly. like you can't chase after them when they get faster than you. Yeah. Yeah. I got to do that. Yeah. 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 I think, yeah, I think that there's nothing else really that um, would have changed. Okay, take four minutes and tell your partner your life story in as much detail as possible. Next. <laughs> oh God, I was gonna say, either this is gonna be just so dramatic. I, I think I would be able to do a better job uh -huh. if it wasn't someone I knew. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I would be like, that's the part you're gonna highlight? Right. Yeah. Like if you heard the way that I recapped somebody else, you'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. But I would think it's obviously a decent job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you could wake up tomorrow having gained any one quality or ability, what? Would it be? Uh, probably speak another language. Ooh. Like, that's like actually useful. Okay. If a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future, or anything else, what would you want to know? Nothing. Really nothing? Nothing. I think that I'd want to know if I was like deficient of like a couple no, of vitamins or something no, that are not showing no, up on the blood work. <laughs> no. <laughs> really? The last thing you need. If, if, if someone was like a crystal ball could be like, hey, you're low in zinc and you would feel better if you took a little zinc, you wouldn't want to know. No. <laughs> really? Because then I, I'd go, well, what else? Like, I, it would never be enough. Huh. I guess like, we're just different like that. Like, I would be like, oh shit, like, wow, thank you God I knew that. You keep going back to this thing like Wikipedia. Well, yeah, if it's gonna tell me I need more to take more things. No, see that, that, Maybe. see, that's where we get in trouble. I don't know, I think it could be helpful. Sometimes you have to learn things at the right time. Yeah. I feel like. Sometimes. Okay. Me, right? Yeah. Is there something that you've dreamed of? Is there something that you've dreamed of doing for a long time? Why haven't you done it? Oh, is there something that I've dreamed of doing for a long time? Um, One like kind of random-ish thing mm -hmm. is that I would love to have um like home decor products. Oh. And like, I kind of dabbled in, into it a little bit with like licensing years and years and years ago, but that was like not the right approach. Okay. Um, but I would love to do like Q, like I just like love a- Tchotchke. I love a, it also is called a tchotchke, but I just like love like little decor pieces. I love little things. Uh, is it anywhere near as cute as those ugly fucking birds that are all over our house? Yeah, I um started, so I bought, I started with uh, 14 birds, I think it was, the Target ones. So Target has this like Christmas bird collection that they come out with every year <laughs> and um, people- The go annual Christmas bird. People go feral for these Christmas birds, absolutely feral. So I made a TikTok where I put them all around the house in like weird places, like, like so they'd be kind of peeking out of like Jeremy's uh, like sunglass pocket holder and stuff like that. And I was like, how long <laughs> can I put 14 I'm birds around the sunglass house? sunglass pocket holders now. Oh my God. Yeah, in your side of the new building. No, I, yeah, no, I, I heard I it and I was like, man, yeah, no wonder you're really out of are. touch. Yeah. And uh, so I was like, how long until he says something? And then I ordered more Target Birds. 
And why? What? Why more birds? Because I was like, how long will you not say something? But then I, you noticed four days later, and I was about to make the next TikTok where I was going to add another like no, twelve I, birds. I finally opened TikTok. You, you saw it on TikTok. You didn't even notice in the house. You saw it on TikTok. Well, I noticed. It was just like I genuinely thought that you were just putting these fucking birds all over because you thought they were cute. Well, they are and cute. They're not cute. They're so cute. Well, the places you put them were weird. <laughs> yeah, I did. Legit, weird it was like, is she fucking losing it? <laughs> I was I was genuinely so, I was like, is this like a weird tradition that I'm not if we haven't talked about like why I the fuck are there fat fucking birds so many more birds around the house thank so God many more. I opened TikTok well, I'm still gonna put them up oh my they already bought them then put them somewhere that's not like communal what do you mean or communal yeah communal space yeah. everything everything is communal except for my office even great. then is love communal. the birds in the office they look great there in your office <laughs> should line chance. them up across not a fucking chance. <laughs> Uh, what is the greatest accomplishment of your life? I'm looking at her. Oh, babe, that is so nice. I was gonna say that. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> what do you What do you value most in a friendship? Um, I think loyalty. No, maybe not. Uh, like, what do I value most? I know what you value in most in friend? friendship. What do you think it is? I'm gonna say after you. I think loyalty slash communication slash effort slash. Like just being a good person? Mm. What do you think? What, what do you have in mind? I think you value consistency. You like to know. No, that's not true. Uh, like, do I, I do I appreciate consistency? Yeah. For sure. But like, I definitely have friends. Like one of my closest friends, Danny, who lives in Toronto, like we will go, you know, weeks without talking. And then we can, like, I, I'm not someone who needs right. a lot of like. No, 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 no. But that's consistent. Sure, you know, I guess. You know, the, the, the friend I feel like that you don't like is the one that like you don't like. That keeps you on, like, you don't know what you're going to get that day. No, but that's like flakiness. Like, it's, no. it's like, I don't appreciate a flaky person. Like, no. I can't be friends with They could be super like high energy or super low energy or like want to do stuff or not want to do stuff. Mm -hmm. I feel like you like knowing how to communicate with somebody. Because like, you like friends that are like, oh, they're just so easy. Or like, oh, they're so fun. Yeah. Or they're, oh, they're so talented. Like, I feel like you just like to be able to like, know what you're getting. Yeah, but that's not like what I value the most. Okay. Like, does that make it a compatible and like lower maintenance friendship? Like, yes, maybe. But I don't think that's like a characteristic that I'm like, I need a person to stay the exact same as forever. You know what I mean? Like that, that, that feels weird. It's not that they say the same. They just continue to give you the version of, of themselves that you like. No, I disagree. Whatever. Loyalty? I don't know. Like, I just like, I really appreciate when a friend, like I, I really pride myself on being like a quality friend. And I mm -hmm. think I just appreciate when someone, I feel like someone reciprocates that and is putting in the effort. What, what makes a quality friend? I think like loyalty, communication, effort, and like reciprocate, like is reciprocal. Reciprocity. Is reciprocal a word? Reciprocal? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, reciprocal. <laughs> <laughs> Reciprocal. Re reciprocality, yeah. Reciprocality? Yeah. Um, no, reciprocal, re fuck, now the word sounds weird. I've said it too many times. Um, just like mutual respect for each other. And like, that's like respect for someone's respect. time. I respect. I buy respect. For, yeah. 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 Consistency, I hate that. It's like, oh, like I go to Costco because I know the hot dog is always going to cost $1.25. And like, I like that about Costco. But like, that's not what I like value in a friend. You don't find there's a lot of similarities between the Costco hot dog and your friendships? Wouldn't be quite the go-to okay. that I would choose. Fine. I'm about to drop the ultimate reading hack on you. It is book of the month. Trust me, this service is like the fairy godmother for book lovers. You know that I have been in my reading era recently and the book of the month is helping me keep up the habit. This isn't just a subscription service. It's like a monthly treasure chest of curated literary gems. Wow, that sounds fancy. A treasure chest of curated literary gems. One more time for effect. You can pick from their top book picks each month. They even let you snag books from their backlist at a discount. I recently grabbed Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow after it was recommended to me by a friend and I am working my way through it and my social life is officially on hold. Book of the Month has just rolled out audiobooks alongside their hardcovers and it's like Christmas came early for the readers out there. Whether you're into the old school charm of physical books or you're all about audiobooks while pretending to work out, that's just maybe just me. <laughs> that was targeted. Uh, <laughs> They've got you covered. <laughs> Their choosing process is truly unmatched. They comb through a mountain of new titles each month and then serve up like five to seven of those absolute best just for us to choose from. The prices are so good, it feels like you're getting away with something, especially with the free shipping. 
They've even got a loyalty program that feels like being part of an exclusive book club without the awkward small talk. Right now, you can head over to bookofthemonth.com and snag your first book for a mere $5 using the code WILD. It's such a good deal, you do not want to miss out. Book of the Month is my reading ride or die. It's not just about the awesome book choices. It's a whole vibe, tracking your reading saga on their app and feeling like a literary rock star. Can we use our own coupon code? Because that's a great deal. Yeah, Yes, we will be using our own coupon code. Because I'm about to use it right now. So if there's only two uses, you know exactly who they're coming from. Me. Whether you're a hardcore bibliophile or you just need an excuse to avoid people, Book of the Month is for you. And don't forget to use code WILD. Happy reading. What is your most treasured memory? Mm. How do I make this you related? <laughs> uh, what is my most treasured memory? Um, that's hard. I have to think about that. Um, the, the what are some of your highlights? It doesn't have to be like your top top, but like what are some like even they can be like recent ones. Like what are some of your like fave ones? Meeting Diggy. I was thinking that too. Yeah, I think meeting Diggy, only because we we uh, had like we were both able to do it more or less like in stages almost, but like because you were driving him down yeah. and I knew he was coming. Yeah, the anticipation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this anticipation was like just building up or whatever. Yeah. Like I, I remember very much having this moment of like right before we got there being like, I'm about to meet uh -huh. this thing that's going to be in my life for the rest of his. Uh-huh. Whoa. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, Probably that. I like... <laughs> uh, what is oh, your most terrible memory? God, what is my most terrible memory? I think any kind of loss mm -hmm. is probably the the one of like the most terrible memories. I was in the room with my family when my grandpa passed. That's like, that's a crazy thing to like experience. See. And yeah, I was I would have been in university at the time, so I was old enough to you know very much like understand like everything and the impact and you know the the weight of it because I feel like if that happens when you're younger like you don't fully understand right or you do but like you just like haven't really like learned how to like process all of that I mean, that, that like doesn't feel real yeah 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 it's like they're the there and then they're gone yeah. but I feel like when you're older you're understanding you understand the depth of like family right. and how the relationship between everyone else that it also like connects to and so I think that's probably one of the most terrible memories but like I was so happy to have made it back to my hometown from Toronto. It was like a little last minute. It wasn't like totally unexpected that my grandpa hadn't been well, but um, like when it was like actually like happening, it was like a big scramble and I almost didn't make it, but I did. And I was so grateful to be there with my family. Um, but yeah, watching like life leave is something very like unexplainable. Yeah, I understand that. It's very... I'm good on it. Yeah. I, I would say like loss and anything like medically scary. Out of your control too. Yeah. Yeah. Out of everyone's sure. control. For sure. Yeah. Okay. If you knew that in one year you would, God damn, Jeez. these questions are so morbid. I'm so in love with you. Keep going. I know. I'm so in love with you. If you knew that in one year you would die suddenly, would you change anything about the way that you're now living? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Right? Fucking, if anybody who goes, no, nah, same. Yeah. Good for them. Must be nice. I would change everything. Everything. Yeah. Every every single day would count. Not that they don't count now, but like I would not work on anything mm -hmm. that I didn't really care about living and existing after me yeah. or that didn't bring me like joy and excitement to me and the people around me that day. Yeah. yeah. It, it brought both sides. It's not that like, I wouldn't want to do anything that like required work. I wouldn't like to just kind of like kind of fuck off for a year. No, but you know what? I bet a majority of people would not do anything career related. Um, right. right. I think I think just there's there's such a high percentage of people who don't like their job and they like feel like they live to work. Right. Or they or I mean even the perspective of like work to live so you can afford to do the things that you actually enjoy doing. Right. Like I, I, it makes me sad to think about this question and how many people would answer like they would just completely fuck off from whatever like their work job is. Right. Yeah. Cause like it's so far away from the part of them that they want to be. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Where it's like, I'm, I'm in a place where I'm so lucky and like, I would definitely still make <sighs> Can you a few imagine videos. The countdown views, babe, you'd be crushing it. That would be 
fucking so unhinged. <laughs> oh my God. If, d- vlog number uh, one of 365, the right. final series. Right. Oh my God. Daily vlogging until I die. That'd be so fun. I mean, that title. So fun. And then we have the title for this podcast. But I would be, <laughs> no, Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> um, but like, I wouldn't take any brand deals. You know what I mean? Like obviously right. because like I enjoy making videos and I enjoy like sharing the video element portion of like being able to relate or with people. Or would you, so you could take the money to put it into something that lived on after you? Yeah, like maybe, but I also right. in a place financially where I feel like I'm able to like leave behind enough to like send a kid to college or whatever it might be. Why that example? What? Why that example? I don't know. You think about like, you know, setting your kid up to have like a- um, Fuck that kid. What about me? What about you? No, I get it. Yeah. I mean, I would, I would for sure take care of somebody else's college. Yeah, no, I would, I'd, I'd be way more selfish <laughs> for sure. I'm like, do I have a child? No. Okay. We're fine. Okay. What if D wants to go to Montessori? He's going to Montessori. What does friendship mean to you? I thought like we just talked I feel about like this. I feel like I already answered this question. Yeah. yeah. I mean, essentially, I think it's just, again, the mutual respect for each other's emotions, their time, their just being as a person. Um, I think it's being loyal and communicative. I think I've got, as I've gotten older, I think um, like understanding that friendships need like effort and work mm. as well too. Cause I feel like people with relationships have in the past put a lot more effort into maintaining a healthy relationship in a romantic way and not as much time and effort into maintaining um, like a friendship in yeah. like, you know, the, the more friendly way. And so, yeah, I, I've always appreciated friends that really put in an effort. True. What roles do love and affection play in your life? Um, Interesting question. What roles do love and affection play in your life? Well, I think it influences the things that I spend my time on. Mm -hmm. Because it's not necessarily about what is best for me in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably the biggest one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Doing things that are collectively good for the things that I care about, which include a lot of things that are not just me. That's a great answer. Alternate sharing something you consider a positive characteristic of your partner. Share a total of five items. Let's do one each. Oh, <laughs> Give me two. I had two. Give me two nice things. Fine. Um, okay. Uh, uh, a positive characteristic of your partner. Um, that, that would be me. You are confident in the ability to talk to literally anyone, anywhere. When I want to. Uh, okay. So I am not afraid to speak. Yes. That, okay. That, are you kidding me? That's like oh, such a hard thing for so many people. Speaking? Yeah. No, yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Because you're right. It's, not, it's not just about speaking. There's, it's, it's so much deeper than that. Right, it's true. Uh, it, right, like in the most stressful situations for you, Yeah. you, you wouldn't have, I, I could be an asset to assist in making it less stressful. For sure. With communication versus yeah. like you yeah, having yeah. to worry about me too. No, or even just like, I, I think like if we were just say like on, a uh, random vacation. Like we would probably end up making friends with someone at a table that was sitting next to us because you chatted up a conversation. And like, I love connecting with new people, but I'm not great at making the first move of like talking to strangers. Conversation starters. Yeah, exactly. Right. But like, you're very bold and confident with that. And it puts everyone else at ease because you usually lead in that. Just a little icebreaker there. Yeah. Got it. So I'm your icebreaker. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, is butt cheeks one or two? That can be number three, okay. and you can give me two others. Um, <laughs> I think that you, well, you're a self-starter. What do you mean? You are driven to do things that you want to do, mm-hmm. and you begin and see the process of getting that thing done by your own, like, on your own accord, on your own terms, and, and like, don't need an instruction manual to do it, mm. for the most part. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll take like, that initiative and being able to take it by yourself. Oh huge. yeah. 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 Huge. Um, one other nice thing about you is that you have great hair. That could be number three. I'll give you one more. Um, um, you also. Not all at once. What? Not all at once. <laughs> no, I'm trying to, I only have one more. I'm trying totally. to think about something. No, yeah, I get it. Something good. That, that, that is like a good one. Um, I think that especially recently you have been so, um, you have prioritized your mental health 
And I think it's also deepened your overall understanding of mental health in general. Not that you've, you, like, you've always been such an incredible support system for me when like I've been, um, you know, at my rock bottom with mental health stuff. But I think that you broadening your understanding of it is, it, it, it helps us as a whole and as a, as partners. As a unit. As a unit. We are a unit. A unit. Um, I think the other thing that I love you about you, well, the other thing that I'll, I'll mention here, mm-hmm. like there's a, a, a laundry list. Thank you so Could much. go on forever. Thank you. Yes. Um, is uh, your like the way that you love mm. and the way that you show love and the way that you um, value that uh, almost like you will give your all and your best to the things that you love in a very um, uh, easy to receive way. Some people are hard to love. Like they're difficult to love. Damn. <laughs> and it's like, it sucks, but like, it's like, like they're, you love yeah. who they are, but like, man, they piss you off. Yeah. You don't really piss me off that much. Thank you. You annoy me, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but like the, the, the parts about you that are, uh, uh, that I love about you, uh-huh. like aren't like coded and crowded in other things. And like also, and like one of those specific, like the way that you like interact with the boys or the way that you interact with your friends, mm-hmm. it's easy to be a part of that. And it's easy to not get in the way of the things that you really care about. And I know that sounds stupid, but it's like some people are so passionate or like the way they exist is just so very unique. Mm. And it's hard to fit into that without like changing who you are as a person. And for the most part, I just don't have an issue with you. Thanks. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I can't imagine being on like a first, second or even third date with someone and not know anything really about a person and having to answer this question. You'd be like, you have great teeth. Right. Your brows are nicely trimmed. I mean, well, I think- Your nose hairs have been done recently. Think about it. Like, I feel like anytime somebody that is new or like you don't really know that well- Yeah. Notices something about you that you haven't heard from somebody else in a while. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you might get something like yeah. that. Yeah, that- Like, there's chances are there's something that that person could just like point out- right. That your last partner stopped noticing- Right. They could be like, oh, your eye contact and you're so engaged. Right. He looked at my eyes. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, this is actually for me, right? Uh, oh yeah. How close and warm is your family? Do you feel your childhood was happier than most other people's? Here we go. Uh, I don't know. The, and question number one, how close and warm is our family? I would say it's 62 degrees in the summer. Um, no, we're just like not like all that like affectionate. Right. We're not. Yeah. It's a, it's a rather... Um, functional mm-hmm. relationship. And do I feel like my child my was happier than other people's? Uh, no, I wouldn't say it was happier than most <laughs> other people's. It was fine. It was um, a lot of good learning lessons. Uh, no, I would not say it was happier, but it, it did what it did. And here you are. Next question. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about your relationship with your mother? Oh, it's good. I think my mom and I are incredibly close. Hi, mom. She listens to every podcast still. Any tattoos between now and Christmas or? No, no. Oh, okay. I kind of feel like I don't really have, like I got to find a new space. Okay. Um, our relationship is is reducing by the second <laughs> currently as you even bring that question up. But no. I mean, the first, you, if you had just stopped with no, that would have been great. Yeah, no. No tattoos with between now and- There's no space for tattoos. No space for tattoos. Got it, Next. No space for okay, tattoos. Okay, so, but the relationship's good? Yeah, yeah, my mom yeah. and I have a great relationship. I think that um, everything got better as soon as I was like a functioning adult in society that was paying my own bills. Yeah. I think that not being a dependent yeah. um, made a world of difference on our relationship. You go back to being a daughter, not a dependent. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I yeah. Couldn't, couldn't agree more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think when you're both like, um, you know, navigating the world as individuals, it's easier. I just think it's like hard because like the, like the parent has to like wear both hats, but you only have to wear one. And then yeah. you get to like- Well, so you don't have a, cho- a choice to wear right. any other hat. Even so it's you, like, yeah. yeah, even if you wanted to. Even if you wanted to wear your own hat. Yeah. No, no, you're gonna wear this hat. You wear this hat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, my mom and I are super close. Complete the sentence. I wish I had someone with whom I could share. Ice cream. Not my fault that I don't have the lactase enzyme in my body. <laughs> Doesn't stop you from eating it. <laughs> Doesn't stop um, me. I there, uh, uh, wish I could share. Um, you have someone to share your pickles with. I wish I had someone who could share my tactical responsibilities. Oh, that's true. 
I could use I could use some tech support every yeah. once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're going to become a close friend with your partner, please share what would be important for him or her to know. If you were like I can answer this question going you know. to become a close friend with your partner, please share what would be important for him or her. I think it's like we're across the table from each other, right? Wait, so it's a friend for you or a friend for me? I think it's a friend for you. Right. Because it's saying your partner, which is you, please share what would be important for this person to be your friend. I'm reading these words and I think I'm getting farther and farther away from what the point is. <laughs> I don't know, answer it however you see fit. Um, I think that if I were giving advice to someone that was being a, going to be a, a close friend to Jeremy, I would say that he's not gonna text you back. And then uh, also that if he bullies you, that means that he likes you. Right, if he's nice to you. That means that he does not fuck with you. He'd like whatever you're doing to, yeah. to cease as quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. Yeah. I would just tell him, show up at the Squish Mall. That's great advice. Tell your partner what you like about them. Be very honest this time, saying things that you might not say to someone you've just met. Oh boy. Um, it's ass cheeks one or two. Um, I love when these games just make it so you have to give yeah. compliments. Um, Something new this time. Oh, I respect your creativity. Thank you so much. Our wedding will be beautiful. Right. Like, I guess things like that. I, I don't worry about you biting off long-term more than you can chew. Mm -hmm. You'll make those, uh, back when we were um, redoing your office every other yeah, um, yeah, three yeah, weeks, yeah. I, I began- Okay, it's a hard layout to work with. Okay. No, but like, there was a while there where like I genuinely, every time you would order something new into the yeah. house, I'd be like, she's fucking up again. She's lost like, it, like, she's lost it. It was literally like, a, <laughs> did she forget what we just, uh -huh. we just finally uh -huh. got thrown away or like finally found someone to pawn this off onto. Like I, I assumed for the longest time that uh -huh. no matter what was coming in, it was going out. Uh -huh. I don't feel that way anymore. That is so nice. Yes, yeah, so like I, I believe that you- Somehow you, I feel like this got turned around a little bit here. <laughs> okay, all right, let's try it again. Um, what you like about them? Um, I, well, I mean, I like your, uh, your ability mm -hmm. to always find time to relax. <laughs> <laughs> in between. I also don't know in between this the, is no, no, a compliment. No, in between the chaos, you like you can shut off. Yeah. And you encourage others to do so around you. Yes. And that's- Carcass time is healthy. Admirable. Because like if you, if you paired me with somebody who was more like me in the sense of like, if you're working, I want to work. Yeah. If, but you, that person never stops. Oh, I can 100% take a nap. If Jeremy is like milling around the house doing shit, good night. If I'm milling? Around the house, yeah. Getting your 25,000 steps <laughs> like, in the house. <laughs> it makes it for days that I make 25. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, like you're, you're, you are I very good. I also know that like my body needs sleep to function. And so like staying up and trying to complete something is not actually productive whatsoever for me. Right. Like I, I admire, I, I wish I was more like that. Yeah. Yeah. Share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your life. Mm, I mean, I got a couple of like four solid years of it on YouTube. What do you mean? Four? Six? <laughs> got it, okay. Eight? Okay. What else? That's no. not sharing with me, you've already shared that. Well, I mean- the, You hit post. Oh God, yeah, I know. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Uh, share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your life. Hmm. This means you overshare. This means I overshare. That's exactly what this means. This isn't that I don't have embarrassing moments in my life because yeah. I, I truly do. Yeah, no, you like yeah. I'm a clumsy individual. I have to think before I speak, like three practice it three times. So it's like, I know that I've said dumb things. I, I've I've fallen. I've, you know, done so much shit, but it's just because I overshare that most of it is already public. You did learn what, what's reciprocal meant a little bit late in life. Um. Yeah, you know what I had to Google today just to like double check uh, was bearer of bad news. Oh. It's B-E-A-R-E-R, -E yeah. but I wasn't positive, I was also, pretty sure. bear with me. Yeah. It's yeah. a bear. It's bear, Rawr. like yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Not, you and know, I wasn't don't bear super with me. Sure. 
That would be like oh, exposing yourself. So, I mean, this is more like I, I, I truly believed and we found the root of this because my mom also believed this. And so I'm going to blame this fully on her and take no responsibility for it. Is that I thought- that relationship we that just talked the, about. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, maybe I should just get a tattoo anyways. Is that Niagara Falls was <sighs> a world wonder. Fully thought that. You fully thought believed. One of, one of the seven. One of the seven natural world wonders. Like, not like BuzzFeed's like- Extended list. Yeah, yeah. I fully thought it was one of the seven world wonders, wholeheartedly. You told me that pretty boldly. Yeah, yeah. And I, that was one of those that where I, one of the first times that I, I think I realized, I think this girl is <laughs> fucking lying to me. <laughs> I wasn't lying though. I was telling you my truth. Yeah, right. Alter- I was giving you my facts. truth. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, exactly. No, okay. no, to me, it was a fact. Right. They're actually opening up um, voting for the eighth world wonder that they want to support. Who's they? They, um, I don't know, but the the eighth world wonder is there's like a tiebreaker happening right now between, I think they pitched eight new places to be an eighth world wonder. And I was like, fucking Niagara Falls is really I mean, we've talked about it many times. If the coral reef disappears, that should be an open slot. Yeah, I think, I believe in the coral reef though. I think it's going to be okay. I believe in them too. The coral reef, okay, great. Yeah, this whole podcast, quite embarrassing. Uh, when did you last cry in front of another person? Uh, this week to you. And it wasn't even Men in Black 3? It wasn't. Yeah, so we're good. Oh my God, you guys, I cried the other day driving home um, the other night from the pharmacy because it started to rain in LA. I'm not even on my period. I don't know where this came from, but I thought I saw a coyote. <laughs> we have so many coyotes in my neighborhood and they're so cute. They just look like little puppies. Oh, they're, they're so, so cute. cute. And it started raining and it was cold and windy. And I started thinking about where the coyotes were going to sleep and if they were cold and sad. And it's, it's I want to come home one day and Lauren's going to have three of them in the front yard. Just eating bowls of food. Whenever they, when we were seeing them on the security cameras too, like around our house oh. and they look a little skinny. I'm like, are you sure we shouldn't leave them in the front yard? <laughs> I get literally cry just thinking about it. <laughs> they're coyotes. They're fine. Oh, oh God. <sighs> Tell your partner something that you like about them already. Well, wow, I love it says already. Yeah. Like, what does that mean? Um, it's only been five years, let's do this thing. I'm so glad you wear an XL hoodie because me too. No, um, no, no you don't, I do. I like. Oh yeah, you don't like me very often, so. I know, what it says that I love Jeremy, but I don't like Jeremy that right. often. Kind of an infuriating individual. And when others um, like parts about me that you don't like, it really infuriates you. And wait, say that again. Like the parts about me that you really, like that really grind your gears. Yeah. If someone finds it temporarily oh, cute. Oh, if they even start to say it aloud, I'm like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Stop right now. You're feeling his ego. Stop. Stop right now. Um, uh, I, You know what actually that you do a great job of is that you are very vocal about saying I love you um, at the beginning and the end of the day. Wow. I never thought about that. What, if anything, is too serious to be joked about? Nothing. Um, there are probably some things. I think that you can- I think it also know your audience. Well, right, yeah, well- Know that, your audience. I, what, what if anything, uh, uh, timely manners, <laughs> timely ma- matters, matters. Like things mm-hmm. that are uh, currently uh, critically on fire. Yeah, not, not the, the time. time. Not, not the time. time. <laughs> yep. Jeez. If you were to die this evening with no opportunity to communicate with anyone, <gasps> By the way, if I was dying this evening, I'm <laughs> last thing I'm doing is talking to other people. Please. Anyway, what would you most regret <laughs> not having told someone? Why haven't you told them yet? There was nothing to, what, what would you, uh, I, I feel like I am so open and honest. And also like, if there's something that I feel like I need to say to someone, I, I like am unwell until it comes out of my mouth. Like I don't hold emotion very well. Right. And so if I feel overwhelmed with the need to say something, whether it's like really good or really bad, like it's coming out. It's like the third grader that has to go to the bathroom and it's just squirming. It's coming out. Right. What would your last tweet be? Um, fuck Twitter. I would never spend my last moments putting a tweet onto Twitter. You, but you always said that you are Tweets are hilarious. Yeah, fuck Twitter now. Okay, got it. So you wouldn't tweet? No, I wouldn't no not tweet. No Instagram? No Facebook? No uh, MySpook? No Zanga? MySpook? MySpook? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, how do you summarize a statement for when you're about to die? Like, I don't, I truly don't know. Uh, Obama out? I don't know. Obama out. Ice My, Spice Obama. Mic drop. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no, there, there's nothing that I really like feel I I, I haven't said. But like, it, 
Which but, also means that I probably overshare and should practice shut the fuck, shutting, shutting is, the fuck up. If you don't say anything on Twitter, whatever you last on Twitter is what's going to be there for the rest of time too. So you got to think about that too. Is that about like what you would say? Twitter is dead. No Fine. one's going to Twitter being like, what's the last thing? Oh, here's her last words. Fine. Then what platform would you want the last thing to be on? YouTube. Okay, got it. YouTube. All right. So you do a quick vlog? A little, little vlog, vlog. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, oh, so you, no, wait. Oh, yeah. Your house containing everything. I hate this question. I hate this. these fire questions. Blah, blah, blah. After saving your loved ones and pets, you have time to safely make a final dash to save any one item. What would it be and why? So I'm out. Pups are out. All things you care about are out. All things we care about are out. Mm. I would love if you could grab like our important document um, folder. Those should all be digitized. Yeah, they should be. <laughs> they are. <laughs> and like, they are. There's a three, two, one policy in this house. Okay. Yeah. Three types of, of storage uh -huh. in, in at least two locations. Yep. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what I grab, uh, I have a... In my office, mm -hmm. I have a little, um, like, it's not even an envelope. It's just like this, like one little thing that's basically all the memories that I've taken with me from forever mm -hmm. that like made it from home, home, yeah, all the I way here. Too. Like random like cards and yeah, stuff like that. Like yeah. the last thing I, that I think I have like my grandparents and yep. stuff like that. And like, yep. I would try and grab that. Yep. That's a good answer. Um, it's Are really, they not three, two, one? No. Babe. No, what are you doing? Those aren't digitized. You and I almost feel like them. it wouldn't matter if they are because- It's the sentimental value of like the fact that they like held the card and wrote the card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's something that like wouldn't, it wouldn't like, mm -hmm. I'd rather it go and not be here anymore in the world than have a picture of it. I will probably three, two, one, a few things. Okay. This week. Like, uh, I don't know, your social security number. I know my social security. It takes me a little bit to Got get it. it, but I Got know it. it. You, but you have like- It's a birth certificate? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> of all the people in your in your family, whose death would, God. So many death questions. Death what the fuck? would you find most disturbing? Like, Why? are they really summarizing out here that people fall in love over the concept of like death and I, loss? Well, I do think people can like- Trauma bond? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You also can bond over nice things. Like ice cream. Yeah. Like, have you ever like um, hooked up with anybody after a funeral? No. Me either. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, whose death would you find the most disturbing? Why? I mean, obviously my parents. I think that like my parents and, and I are so close. I'm an only child. So it's like. I think you have to find one. Well, I'm not going to choose one parent. That's, that's fucked up. I think that's part of it. That's fucked up. I think that's a little bit like how this works. Um. Oh, oh wait. Oh, oh, oh uh, probably you maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We got there. <laughs> Probably you, maybe. <laughs> I didn't even consider, I think that like, like it, I like, you can't go. So I didn't even consider you as being an option. Cause like you can't go. Well, sounds like if I did, you'd be indifferent. <laughs> Last question. Do you feel this experiment has brought us closer together? If so, how? Not after question 35. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm mad. <laughs> Should we split the bill for this, this day, Ben, or? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, also, there's a lot of questions about death. Yeah, I, I'm not, if I were to be tasked with making 36 questions to like bring something closer together, this wouldn't have been it. Wouldn't have been it. At all. Wouldn't have been it. At all. Wouldn't have been it. Maybe the 90s were a lot more bleak. Maybe. Or I guess the 80s leading to the 90s. Yeah, but it's not like, I don't know. That was, it was just like so much like, morbid yeah it's like also like how do i like saddle my partner with like my problems yeah i don't know i don't know if that if that's uh i don't know if i would if i would put that forth like, for i new genuinely couples. think your dream about like pasta penis was more foreplay than that um well on that note i hope you have a great week and you eat some fusilli thank you and think of us oh them yeah got it i thought you were talking to me still oh got it where do you think makes the best fusilli um, I really like the John and Vinny's spicy fusilli. I was thinking more probably in like Italy, right? Fucking, I don't know. Like, do you think there's a place that like that, that claims the, the world's best? I'm sure. Like the world's finest chocolate? And I would like to go there. Right. And also there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We'll find an Italian Tilly and we'll go. Or maybe I, somewhere in Europe. I don't can't know. I wait. I can't wait. Anyway, love you to death. Literally. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we'll see you next week. Love you. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> cool. <laughs>